All right, so today we're gonna try something new. So a couple years ago, I bought a camera. It's a Canon EOS RP. I bought it so that I could use it for my YouTube so that I have better quality videos. But after I bought it, I realized that it's not really the best camera for, for videos. It's pretty good for, for pictures. So I started using it and like trying to get into photography because I really did enjoy photography and I like doing it. So I got into it for a couple months and I was going to like Southwick, Crow Hill, MX23, all these different tracks, just trying to figure it all out and learn how to take photos and stuff. But after a while, it just got to be too much after I was trying to figure out this whole YouTube thing and I just kind of gave up on it. So today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go out to MX23. It's Monday right now, so I don't really know how busy it gets or how packed it gets on Monday. I don't think there's really that many people, so I'm, I'm hoping that there's at least a couple people there that I can use to practice with while they're out there riding. The last three days, no lie, I spent like over 15 hours designing this new logo. I just ordered a hundred stickers of that logo and then I also designed these other two logos. And I just ordered a hundred for each of those stickers so I got 300 stickers coming. So if you guys enjoy the content and you want to help support me and the channel, DM me on Instagram. I'll put my username in the description. Tell me what you want and I'll get you hooked up. I also designed my own profile on this website called pixieset.com. Another way to help support the channel, head to that website, click on my most recent projects. There's one from a J Day a couple of years ago when Cooper Webb came out and raced. And I got two other NESC races from a year ago that I got some really good pictures in. And those are like some of my best pictures. You can buy digital prints or you can buy, I believe you can buy printouts and order printouts and have them shipped to you. That's just another way that you can help support the channel if you so choose to. All right, we are on the road. So today I'm just gonna use this as a trial run. Like I said, I don't know how many people are gonna even be at the track. My long-term goal and dream would be to be able to make a living off of YouTube while also, you know, being a photographer. Because if I can make a living doing that, at least just to help me get by, that would be like perfect. That's really all I ever wanted to do. All right, so I kind of figured this was gonna happen. When I pulled in here, there was only one guy parked here and he was out riding on the track. And there's only been two other people that have pulled in since I got here. It is only 2.30, it's still kind of early. I'm gonna hang around here till about four, just see if anybody else shows up. Cause I'm sure more people will show up. It's just still, it's too early. You guys gotta try this drink right here. You can only order it, I believe, on Amazon. I don't even think you can buy it on the Rockstar website. Me, my brother, and my cousin, like all of our buddies are all addicted to this shit. They have at most convenience stores around here and mostly all grocery stores, a whipped strawberry. For some reason, you never see the orange in stores. The only one you see is strawberry. But either way, you guys gotta try this shit. I'm not getting paid to promote this at all. I'm just telling you, this is the shit. So we got one dude out there on a 250F right now. The other dude on the 125 is gearing up. So I'm gonna head out here real quick and try to snap at least a couple pictures. Make the trip semi worth it. This place is one of my favorite practice tracks ever. Look at this place, it's beautiful. Literally the best track owner. He grooms this place every single day. I've never been out here when they do riding schools here. I know AJ Catanzaro comes here every now and then to do classes. Over the last like 
two or three years, in my opinion, this track has gotten like tremendously better. Like it's growing and growing every time I come here. It looks better and better every time. All right, so that kid on the 125 just pulled off the track. Not a soul in sight now. Can't see anything right now, but every time I get closer to it, more frogs start jumping away. That is crazy. I just saw a bunch of them jump in there. Imagine I just get attacked by frogs and that's how I die. Don't know who this kid is on the pitter, but he is absolutely shredding the balls off of this thing right now. I just got the wildest picture. There's some kid out here ripping in Adidas pants. Dude, straight up boner air in it right now. The only people that are really out here riding right now are those kids on the pit bikes. I just got this nasty picture of this kid doing a wheelie. All right, we're heading home. I kind of expected this, but today was kind of a bust. I didn't get to film much on the GoPro of me like actually shooting pictures or anything like that. I only have one SD card and I've been using that SD card, like swapping it back and forth between my GoPro and the camera. So I didn't even think about it when I went there, but I only have one SD card, so I can only use the GoPro or the camera at once. And I was gonna use the GoPro to film me while I was out there doing pictures and shit, but obviously I didn't think that one through, so that's my bad. But I will say what I did get out of this video, it's been months since I've used my camera. So it's good that I came out here today and used it a little bit because I had a hard time figuring out some of the camera settings. So it took me a while to do all that. So now next time I go out to do this again, at least I'll be a little bit prepared. So I guess you can say I got one good thing out of today. <laughs>